So here we go, part two, just uh, armed Bravo. Expecting people to be on that crate, so just lob a uh, grenade to check no one's on it. You can see half the crate, and I figure that's probably good enough just to make sure no one comes on this side. And Because uh, I'm expecting them to come from the uh, helipad, but the Bradley sees me, so I've got to get the hell out of there, because there's not a lot I can do against that thing. I've only got one RPG left after I was trying to shoot down the chopper earlier, so I don't really stand a chance against it. But we get the crate, so that's good. Benzilla goes down, and uh, a bit too slow to res in that time. But he was telling me he doesn't want to be resed over the thing, because he wanted to change classes, so... I see it's uh, they're repairing the Apache over there, so I managed to dart that. The darts on this have uh, got a flat trajectory, they don't have any drop to them, so they're a lot easier to use. And the Apache has absolutely nothing to counter that, so down it goes. That was my last RPG, well used. Now I've got to worry about that. I see that little shape, I was puzzled about what that is, and it distracted me enough for that guy to kill me, so... Probably would have killed me anyway, actually. I'm not the best of shots. So I go back to base. So I've gone down the beach way and stuck around the back and got uh, Bravo. So now I'm going down the front way. I switch to something with a bit more of a bite in its range. So this is the uh, bottleneck down this road. I can see we've got all kinds of icons in their base, move on their crate or whatever. So I'm not really worried about them being in just this little bit of cover just on my right here, surrounded by concrete. That's if you can get a spec ops in there and spot things down the road and fire RPGs at the armor, then you can hold the space pretty easily. But they didn't do that, so now we're moving on the crate. I'm just making sure that uh, no one's going to get on the crate. Of course, using a grenade. Single burst fire, getting the kill. Just watching that crate no matter what. I've only got 20 bullets left in the clip and I know that, so I've been really choosy about where I put my shots. Guy comes in the crate, I managed to get him off the crate, but I'm down to 5 bullets. Guy runs across me, I've got nothing to kill that guy, so he kills Benzilla. And uh, unfortunately the grenade wasn't enough to finish him off, and uh, Benzilla was not happy about that. Because uh, he thought I had him covered, but... I can't cover him with five bullets, unfortunately. But we got Alpha. I chose to uh, save Alpha instead of Benzilla, so... In my book, that's alright. I'm just waiting for this... Uh... Oh, wait, yeah. That's a got Apache flying around. Once that Apache's dead, then... then all we got to worry about is the Black Hawk. Which isn't that much of a problem. So, probably waiting for the uh, anti-aircraft uh, tank to spawn. Oh, there it is, in fact. I'm searching through the uh, kits here, so I figure that I'm going to be doing, go for a little C4 crate action. So I've switched to the pistol to give me some sort of range to defend myself. Shotgun for the close quarters, and I've got C C4 and the uh, ammo crate, so I've got pretty much unlimited C4. I hop in the tank, Benzilla, so I don't have to worry about range against with a pistol right now. The guy hops out, probably trying to get to the uh, UAV drone or whatever, but that's not going to happen. That's the most obvious insertion I've ever seen. A waste of a black hawk. I'm trying to decide whether the Black Hawk's worth it or not, because the uh, minigun's pretty cool, but it can be shot down so easily with the 120 cannon, because the shells coming out of the 120 is so much faster than it's ever been, so you can really shoot down aircraft well with the 120. So it, the only defense it's got is the low elevation on the 120, so you can fly up high so it can't shoot you. But then again, the people on the side of the Black Hawk can't really uh, shoot anything. so. The best use of Black Hawk is probably to fly high and just drop RPGs, or maybe C4 out of it. I think that's kind of the best way to do it and not use the miniguns. I've yet to see someone like pilot the Black Hawk by themselves, then run to the back, drop something out the back, 
then quickly run to the front and then pull up again. That'd be quite funny to see. And we go in the back way in the base because the uh, front way is always guided by loads of anti armor. So I start shooting these barrels, making sure there's no people C4 waiting for us. Down there. Let's park here. First things first, make sure no one's on the anti air. Anti, anti tank, even, sorry. There isn't, just by pushing back a few times on it. So we're in a pretty strong position here. They do spawn behind us, so I check every now and then to make sure they're not spawning behind us. Easy pickings on the snipers on the roof. 50 cal. We've got the crate there. If the uh, black hawk goes down, which I think it does in a minute, just crashes of its own accord, then they can't take off again. In fact, I think I steal it. So, just checking nothing's behind us. I think we get this crate. There we are, we just got Alpha, so it's pretty good, just checking around. Got some damage on that black box, I know I can't really land anywhere. Although the people in the back can sort of repair it while it flies along. It's pretty tricky to do. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I haven't quite figured that out yet. Just hope while we're keeping that team pinned down over here that our other team can go and uh, deal with Bravo. I get confused about what kit I am here because uh, Benzilla's jumped out because he can actually repair. I'm trying to figure out what kit I am. I know I've got a shotgun. But uh, then I see I've actually like an assault class, so I just get back in the tank and start shooting. Just looking for targets, making sure they're not on the anti tank thing. And the black hawk is gone, so I decided to steal it because it's quite fun. He left the tank there, but that's not exactly the best thing to do. I mean, they could easily steal that, and then that'll be a real pain. I'm like, I saw the guy on the roof, so I'm parking up and telling Benzilla exactly where he is, and just to open up on him straight away. And now I've got to strike a balance between moving around and avoiding incoming fire, and holding still enough and close enough so that the guy in the minigun can actually do some damage. You have some like uh, defense as well. The Black Hawk's quite a tough bird. It can take a lot of punishment before it goes down. Although it still takes only one RPG, and I can actually hear the incoming. It makes a beeping sound, so I'm gonna, just going to stand still. I'm going to try and move as soon as I hear the beeping sound. Unfortunately, the guy was right beneath us, so I was trying to go up and down, and uh, to avoid the rockets as they come in. But seeing as it's underneath me anyway, I didn't stand a chance. I wasn't really worried about darts in the Black Hawk, because uh, apparently when you've got the secondary uh, thing in, you can deploy flares to get rid of it. So, hopefully that'll... I've yet to get it to work though. So I'm jumping in with a shotgun to finally take Bravo. Trying to get some kills. And I really do hate that no knife mechanic. I really wish they just kept the old one. This cod style of rubbish is just really annoying. It locks you into doing what you're trying to do, and uh, you can't knife like two people in a row because it just takes like three seconds in between the knives. It's really annoying. So we arm this crate. Just uh, I find out if you turn um, lob an ammo crate down where the objectives are, you tend to get a lot of points because everyone cr crowds around there anyway. So here come the rush. I managed to shoot one of them, the people behind me just opening up on the rest of the guys. So I think it's pretty much the win for us there. Even though I'm dead, I think I did enough damage and we win. So this is a great game, well done dice. Really looking forward to it actually coming out. There's a few quibbles with it, like they've really got to get rid of that spawn screen. I just really hope that goes before the game comes out. But anyway, uh... See you guys on the battlefield sometime soon.